If you drive trucks, sell trucks, or run any trucking related business, you're going to need to be familiar with all the taxes and fees associated with trucks. For truckers just starting out, you may need to budget for these tax responsibilities ahead of time. Truck drivers who drive big rigs on the highway have to pay the heavy highway vehicle use tax for their use of the highway each year. The first tax a new truck driver will encounter is the federal excise tax on trucks. Excise taxes are taxes imposed on specific goods or products like gasoline or cigarettes. They're usually paid at the point of purchase and they're usually included in the product's price. The federal government imposes a specific excise tax on sales of trucks and tractors. For the government's purposes, a truck is defined as a highway vehicle primarily designed to transport its load on the same chassis as the engine, even if it's equipped to tow a vehicle, such as a trailer or semi-trailer. That definition includes smaller trucks, but only trucks of a certain size require paying this tax. Meanwhile, a tractor is defined as a highway vehicle designed to tow a vehicle, such as a trailer or semi-trailer. A tractor may, may carry incidental items of cargo when towing or limited amounts of cargo when not towing. A truck, truck trailer, or semi-trailer is considered a sale of a chassis and a body. The seller is liable for the tax and may accept a statement from the buyer in good faith stating that under penalties of perjury and executed in good faith, the purchaser intends to resell or lease on a long-term basis. The purchaser will be liable for the tax when the article is ultimately sold to a new buyer who will use it for its intended purpose. IRS Publication 510 on Excise Taxes says that the Federal Excise Tax FET, is imposed on the first retail sale, meaning the first sale for a purpose other than resale or leasing in a long-term lease, after manufacture, production, or importation. Form 720 must be filed with the IRS for each quarter if you are liable for or responsible for collecting federal excise tax. The due date is on or before the end of the month following the close quarter, i.e. January to March is due by April 30th. Internal Revenue Service Section 4051 imposes a 12% federal excise tax on the sale of trucks, trailers, and tractors used for highway transportation in combination with a trailer or semi-trailer. The FET does not apply to truck chassis and body as suitable for use with a vehicle with a gross weight of 33,000 pounds or less. The FET also does not apply to a truck trailer and semi-trailer chassis and bodies suitable for use with a trailer or semi-trailer with a gross vehicle weight of 26,000 pounds or less. Tractors with a gross vehicle weight of 19,500 or less and a gross combined weight of 33,000 pounds or less are excluded from the 12% FET. Numbers, right? The FET is paid on the initial sale or use of the truck. If the truck were bought and used previously, an excise tax would usually be unnecessary. However, there may be some instances where a used truck may be subject to the FET. If the truck were exported to another country, the export would be exempt from FET. However, when imported back to the U.S. and there's a subsequent sale, the tax would then be triggered as if it were an initial sale or use. These sales are also ordinarily exempt from excise taxes. Sales to a state or local government for its exclusive use, sales to Indian tribal governments, but only if the transaction involves the exercise of an essential tribal government function, sales to a nonprofit educational organization for its exclusive use, sales to a qualified blood collector organization for its exclusive use in collecting, storage, or transportation of blood, sales for use by the purchaser or further manufacturer of other taxable articles sales for export or resale by the purchaser to a second purchaser for export, and sales to the United Nations for official use. These taxes fund the Highway Trust Fund, expenditures from which are generally used to repair and expand the federal highway system of the United States. Trucks and other heavy vehicles create a lot of extra wear and tear on roads, so these excise taxes contribute to ongoing road maintenance and infrastructure repair. The seller is responsible for the retail FET due to a truck or trailer. The truck owner is then responsible for filing and paying Form 2290 for heavy highway vehicle use. This is an annual tax on the continuing use of heavy load-bearing vehicles. If the truck isn't used very frequently, you may be able to waive the tax. Only trucks that weigh 55,000 pounds or more require their owners to pay this tax. 
The deadline to file for the first time is the last day of the next month after the truck's first use. See the form itself to find out how much your tax will be. Look, if you're unsure about your obligations as an owner operator, reach out today for a free consultation with 1-800-ACCOUNTANT to learn more. We can guide you through the paperwork and smooth out the process for you. It's important to be informed and know your obligations, but sometimes the smartest thing to do is let an expert help out. 1-800-ACCOUNTANT has experts in the trucking industry and experts in every state. We know exactly how to help you save money and make your business more efficient. 